The Abrams tank comes in two versions. In its M1 form, it packs the British 105mm rifled gun. In the M1A1 version, it carries the same Rheinmetall 120mm smoothbore as is fitted to the Leopard 2. Both variants are America's front runners in the best tank in the world state. Fitted with well-sloped Chobham armor, ammunition stowage in the rear turret bustle, automatic fire extinguishers, and a complete NBC protection system, Abrams is the first really new American main battle tank since the end of the Second World War. Propulsion is by means of a high-performance, 1,500-horsepower gas turbine engine, which gives easy starting under the coldest weather conditions and a high power-to-weight ratio. Unfortunately, the engine runs very hot while idling, producing a high infrared signature for the enemy to detect. The 120mm gun on the M1A1 has laser range finding, integrated fire control systems with onboard computer, fully automatic stabilization, and everything else you would expect in a modern main battle tank. First round hit and kill capability is thus almost assured. Abrams has a power to weight ratio and cross country performance virtually identical to the Leo II, partly as a result of the American and West German government's cooperation during the early design stages. Top speed is about 45 miles per hour. Trench and vertical obstacle capabilities are also just about the same as the Leo II. Range is over 300 miles. Abrams carries its own internal smoke screen generator. The only thing the Abrams lacks is the Leopard's deep fording ability. Rivalry between NATO's tank crews is, even if friendly, intense. The Canadian Army Trophy competition popularly known as the cat shoot, provides a safety vent for this rivalry every two years. The competition involves firing live rounds at static and moving targets while stationary and on the move yourself, as well as machine gunning infantry positions. Points are scored not just for accuracy, but also for the time spent in acquiring each target. In a recent competition, the U.S. 8th Armored Division, equipped with 105mm armed M1s, stole a last-minute victory over the West German 124th Panzer Battalion's Leopard 2s. Third were the Belgians, also with Leo 2s, and fourth the Canadians with Leo 1s. It all goes to show, no matter how advanced your technology and crew training, skill and morale are what count in the final analysis.